The SBA has announced further action to help EIDL and PPP borrowers, including a brand new 60-day goodwill exception period. And they've expanded the hardship accommodation plan. Hey everyone, it's Ryder from Skip. In this quick video, I'm gonna talk about these SBA changes as it relates to the EIDL program and PPP program, whether or not you're an EIDL borrower, things you should know. Plus, I'll talk about a new $10,000 grant we are giving out at the end of this video. As always, thanks for subscribing and turning on alerts and liking this video so more entrepreneurs see this important information. I'm just gonna start with this new press release and then explain what it means and how you can use this information to your advantage. SBA announces further action to help PPP and COVID EIDL borrowers. SBA introduces a 60-day goodwill exception period and expands the hardship accommodation plans. They've announced expanded flexibility and accommodations for COVID EIDL and PPP borrowers to help bring them into compliance and avoid the repercussions of defaulting on a government loan. Late last year, I talked about how the Treasury Department was sending default letters to thousands and thousands of COVID EIDL borrowers. I'll link to that video above, but in short, borrowers who've gotten behind on their EIDL payments are now facing consequences. Of course, just to recap, there are 4 million COVID EIDL loans dispersed, mainly between 2020 and 2021, some also in 2022. 30-year loans, 3.75% interest rates, originally up to 150K, then it was increased to 500K, and then finally 2 million. And when you first got the loan, you had 30 months to make your first payment. Those were deferred payments. Interest has been accruing since day one, but you didn't have to make payments for 30 months. Well, a little over a year ago, November 2022, the majority of folks had to start their first payments. And to be frank, it's been difficult for a lot of these small business owners. Even with the hardship accommodation plan, which I'll give an update on in a second, many folks have been behind on payments. And when you get behind on payments for a certain number of months, the SBA sends your loan to the treasury. The treasury sends you an email saying you're in default. We're going to send this to collections. If you have gotten one of those letters, of course, we can help you get back in good standing and get that loan sent back to the SBA. But there's also this new path you can take. Let me continue with this press release. For COVID EIDL and PPP borrowers with loans under $100,000, the SBA has implemented a 60-day goodwill exception period starting January 1st and lasting through March 3rd, 2024. You have until March 3rd, 2024 for this 60 day goodwill exception period. During this period, the SBA will build on its extensive outreach to affected businesses to assure that PPP borrowers, many of you are all set on the PPP front. You've had those loans forgiven. But just in case there's some of you out there that haven't gotten full forgiveness on your PPP, SBA is going to reach out to you. And on the COVID EIDL side of things, they want to make sure borrowers are aware of their repayment options, including the opportunity for hardship repayment plan. And on that note, this is an interesting change here. You know, we heard directly from the SBA, they did not want to publicize the hardship repayment options and make them widely known. Of course, we've shared popular videos about this but according to our contact at the SBA they didn't want to proactively tell everyone hey there's hardship accommodation plans available for you and only if you're struggling to make payments will the SBA let you know that this is an option so this is something that they're extending that they're going to do more of if they see you're behind on payments here it sounds like they're gonna reach out to you and say hey there is a hardship accommodation option we really don't want you to default can you make these payments 10% of your loan amount or even a minimum of $25. But this last sentence is the important one. Again, 100 days starting January 1st, you have until March 3rd. The SBA will refrain from escalating collections activities until after the goodwill exemption period. So you have until March 3rd to get caught up, to go after your hardship accommodation options and get in good standing. The SBA in the meantime is not going to go after collections or send your loans to the treasury. Just to say, if you want to talk about your options with our team, you can do that. HelloSkip.com slash expert dash help. I'll also put this link in the description. Book a 30 minute call to talk to us about your options. Of course, you can talk to us about anything you want, including 
funding opportunities available to you in 2024, whether that's grants, loans, lines of credit, other SBA programs like the 7A, angel or VC money, et cetera, we can help you. I definitely recommend booking a call to talk with one of the skip experts. You don't know what you don't know. And our team knows what's out there, knows what the possibilities are, even beyond what I talk about in these videos, they can help point you in the right direction or answer questions that are top of mind. Back to the press release, this last paragraph here, small business borrowers in delinquency or default who take action and obtain good standing with the SBA will improve their long-term financial health substantially. This is a really important paragraph they've put in here. It's a question we get asked a lot on this channel. The benefits of getting and staying current on SBA loans includes better credit scores, which make it cheaper and easier to buy a home or car in the future, eligibility for future government financial assistance, like a VA loan or help after a natural disaster, and in some cases, avoidance of federal and private collection activities, which can include withholding tax returns and wage garnishment. So three strong reasons, three strong reminders why you should get in good standing. You shouldn't dismiss this and say, eh, you know what? I'm just going to let the chips fall where they may and not take action. What's the worst that can happen? Well, these are three great reasons to reach out to the SBA, to reach out to us, to get your EIDL loan in good standing and have a good repayment plan set up for yourself. There's information on the PPP program here. I'm going to skip that for now, but I'll link to this press release in the description in case you want to reread it on your own. Here's the important COVID EIDL information. And don't forget in two minutes, I'm going to talk about our $10,000 dollar grant that's open to all U.S. entrepreneurs and several other grants that are now listed on the SKIP dashboard. You may notice that you can now see the amount of grants you're tracking, how many you've applied for, and the value of grants you still have to apply for. This has been a huge motivator to get people to track and apply for more grants. But I've said it once, I'll say it a million times. In our view, grants is a great gateway to more serious financial instruments to help your business grow. Don't put all your eggs in that grants basket. Seriously look at financing opportunities, loans, lines of credit, and you can click the search funding button here to see your funding matches and even work with some of our partners. And you can also ask our Skip AI for grants, loans, financing. Back to the press release, all COVID EIDL borrowers must repay their loans, but the SBA has programs to help, including expanded hardship accommodation plans. I've talked about this when they announced this late last year. You can lower your payments not only for six months or an additional six months, but now up to two years, you can lower your EIDL payments and take the cash that you save and put it towards other parts of your business. Remember, there are still a ton of scammers out there. I reported on a major scam a couple weeks ago where folks are using the PPP loan forgiveness form, photoshopped it to say EIDL forgiveness, and are sending it out to folks to get your sensitive information. There is no COVID EIDL forgiveness. I don't think there will be. So if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. And if it doesn't come from an SBA.gov email and double check it, even when you're replying to the email, because people can spoof emails, consider it a scam. And thanks to all of you who've been reporting on other scams out there. If you know of any, you can always email us tips at helloskip.com. I'll include more that you should watch out for in an upcoming video. Finally, the skip grants. Well, in a video earlier this week, we picked five grant winners live on our YouTube channel. So if you aren't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button because every month we give out grants to folks on this YouTube channel. For some of them, all you have to do is show up for the live video and watch. We pick a couple winners from folks watching the live, typically $200 grants. There's also $1,000 grants and $10,000 grants. On Friday, January 12th on our Instagram, we are at hello.skip. I'm doing an Instagram live to announce our December $10,000 skip grant for entrepreneurs winner. That's going to be exclusively live on our Instagram at hello.skip. And now we have our skip 10k 
2024 kickoff grant, 10K grant open to all entrepreneurs and businesses due January 31st. It's quick to apply. You can see reviews, see the application questions and use AI to write answers to these questions and see if your answers are weak, moderate or strong. You should only submit when your answers are strong because these are competitive. Good luck with these grants and several others that are listed on the Skip dashboard. You can also download the Skip app in the App Store. Just search Skip in the App Stores. I'd love to hear what you think about this SBA EIDL news. Are you going to take advantage of the 60-day goodwill exception period or not? Most importantly, stay well, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video. 